Hey everybody, this is Jeff coming at you with another Mindset Monday. And today I am doing my Mindset Monday on Tuesday. And there's a reason why I'm doing that and I think it really plays into mindset overall. So what I did over the last couple of weeks was I overcommitted to obligations that I had and I needed, you know, people in my life needed me to help them with certain things. And there were certain things that I, chose to commit myself to that ended up causing me to overcommit. And part of the reason why that happened was because last week I got blindsided and got like a really bad sore throat and that limited my ability to show up and be productive and kind of put me a little bit behind on my to do's. And then these other commitments that I had made piled up over the weekend and, and yesterday and at the end of the day, I was exhausted and there was just no way that I could show up for a Mindset Monday video and to fulfill that commitment. So I think the, the, there's lessons here and the lessons are, are really not that, oh, never overcommit or whatever. Anytime that you have big goals and you're trying to accomplish something that you've never accomplished before and you're pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone of maybe the knowledge that you have, you need to learn things along the way, you're pushing the boundaries of your time management skills, like all of these things, like it's a practice, not a perfect, like it's not always gonna work out exactly the way that you had envisioned. <clears throat> and so for me at least, this is a great learning experience and just a reflection that, you know, I don't need to beat myself up or, you know, shame myself or, or anything like that for not fulfilling my obligation for the Mindset Monday on Monday, but instead to give myself that space to recognize that the commitments that I made were based on, you know, wanting to learn, wanting to grow, wanting to show up for the people in my life who need me. And that sometimes that's just going to be more than you bargained for. And that staying in flow and not falling into a negative thought pattern about it is really what a strong mindset is all about. I think there are definitely times in the past when I could have fallen into a pattern where it's like, even today, just doing the mindset Monday on a Tuesday, I could just say, well, I didn't get it done on Monday, so um, you know, I'm too embarrassed to show up on Tuesday, or I, it doesn't matter anymore because I didn't fulfill the com commitment on that specific within that specific time frame, <clears throat> pardon me, that I normally would. So therefore there's no value in it and I should just blow it off and I won't even do it. But that's not the way my mindset works today. The way my mindset works today is, hey, where's the lesson? You know, what can I learn from this? How can I become better overall based on the experience that I just had? And so I think in our own journeys through the, the lead gen journey, in other words, that there are so many skills to learn. There's so many different aspects of this business model and there's so many different commitments that you need to make to yourself and to others to complete the tasks that you need and to be able to, to really move forward in this business model. So there will be times perhaps that you, you overcommit and that you find yourself falling behind on those commitments. And again, I think the mindset here, or the lesson, the mindset lesson here is to stay positive and give yourself that kind of ease and grace to, um, to, uh, to, 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 to fall behind and to uh, be able to reflect back on these lessons without beating yourself up and, you know, maybe like uh, calling it quits or not fulfilling on any of your obligations because you missed out on one of them, then that affects your mindset and your ability. It shakes your confidence in a way that prevents you from showing up overall and, and other commitments. So that's the lesson that I'm taking from this. And I hope that you all, you all can learn from that lesson. I'd love to hear any of your comments in the comment section. If you have fallen back behind on any of your commitments, if you're in the accountability groups, you know that you've made a commitment to reaching certain goals and that there are action steps that you need to take along the way and that staying in flow with that and recognizing that, hey, if I get a couple of days behind, you know, I can either make it up or I can give myself the grace to 
be able to continue down the journey without just calling myself out and saying I'm done because I didn't fulfill this small part of it. Like it's a work in progress. We're all a work in progress. We're all learning and growing in real time. And um, so if you have any of those reflections that you'd like to share in the comments, I'd love to see them. And other than that, I'm wishing you the best on your own journeys and your own ability to show up for yourself, for the business model and for everyone else in your, in your life and to give yourself that grace along the way. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I look forward to dropping more and learning and growing along with you. All right, thanks a lot, take care, peace.